we need to dive into what is wrong, what is going on, what are our thoughts. Okay, the last fine. two games, we'll leave it at that for the Lakers. 135 points allowed to Houston, 138 to Atlanta. You guys do the math. I'm not sure. Yeah. 136 in terms of points in the paint allowed, 55 fast break points. Um, I actually thought, Guy, another night where I sat there, uh, actually not. It's been a long time since I've contributed. Uh, and in the post game show, I actually miss it because I sat in the uh, chairs <laughs> over there. You contribute a lot around here. I don't. Rude. <laughs> I do not contribute a lot. I do my job. Yeah. Like that, LeBron said to his teammates, if no, there was no, a message, a just do your job. Yeah, yeah. Um, but last night I got, I was like, how the heck would you handle this post game yeah. in my head? Did we handle it? You were great. You were phenomenal, I thought. <laughs> a well, lot of moving um, parts. There's that little fine line of like, tr you got to be honest, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you want to like, can't come on Mr. Positive or Miss Positive when they're yeah. not doing well, but you also can't, sky's not falling, it's season's not over, but you also have to be real. And Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think one. we're all frustrated too, so like that's part of it, right? Like Byron, James, you, yeah. Brett. So you have to convey that, but also do it in a professional way. It's uh, These were some of the numbers you guys looked at. Yeah. That's why it kind of Brutal, kinda brutal made numbers think. last night, yeah. right? Like, yeah, and you guys pointed to the physicality or lack thereof, the effort mm -hmm. um, that we're just not seeing what is – uh, something that not necessarily yeah. has been the problem all season. But recently, there's just something. It, you know what? That's also, Allie, like, come on, Aaron. You don't want to, like, question guys playing hard. Mm -hmm. But, like, when you're watching a game and you're just – Byron's doing breakdowns last night and there's literally not one ounce of physicality or trying to resist or stop anybody, it's not a, that I'm going to call out the effort, but I am going to talk about that, right? Yeah. Like – it's not that they went into the game not wanting to win or not trying, but like it's, they're not doing the things you have to do to win games. They didn't go out there with a sense of urgency. Or any kind of does, resistance. Any kind of resistance, and it's been that way, and it just doesn't look right. I mean, 7 and 8 in January. I keep going to that because we sat here and thought mm -hmm. 11 and 4, yep. 10 and 5. A lot of home games. A ton Never of in a games, million Keith. years thought of 7 and 8 Yeah, when you looked at that schedule. Yeah. We thought we would know what this team is after January. That was our whole thing. Like, hey – They'll be over 500. They'll be in that seven spot, looking at six. That did not happen. I think the thing, there's a fine line between fatigue and not playing hard. And, and you know, they had the big Golden State win last weekend, double OT. Seems like all the particulars, all the main particulars on the team, they played like 43 minutes on average. Okay, you know, maybe there's a little fatigue against Houston. You should not be down 30 points to a team that's two games below you in the standings. Mm -hmm. And the same thing the next night. They're down 20 to Atlanta. That team stopped playing like, I don't know, a month ago, two months ago. I mean, they're, they've been close to 10 below 500 the entire season. You know, obviously that's not working there. A lot of rumors they're going to blow it up. But bottom line, yeah, it's like, okay, maybe the Lakers are a little tired, but there's also some, some lack of effort. You know, and I think it comes across defensively. If you go back to December, they had a really good month. Maybe it started in late November. Um, mid-November till, till the IST tournament, in-season tournament, they had a great month where they were like top five in defensive rating. Where did that, what happened? Where did that go? So it's, it's all defense to me. I mean, this Atlanta team, is, they, should, they should not be 20 points up on the Lakers. I was period. just going to say, we kind of did the month-to-month -month breakdown. They were 500 in October, four games played, two and two. Then they were two games above in November, two mm -hmm. games below in December, and now a game below in January. Shocking. And Braun was yeah. asked that question of kind of – that's who you are. We, and I thought is, because it's true, we've seen them beat the Clippers. We've seen them beat OKC yeah. twice, mm -hmm. the Clippers twice, right? They've had these moments in these games where he, like you said, you could go out and any given night you could beat the best or you could quote a double S. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that anymore. <laughs> um, <laughs> get your, your tail kicked, right? Yeah. And it's just so, it's mind boggling. There's also been a lot of those nights. And I think that's, a red flag that's a concern where you lose a lot of games by a wide margin yeah it's not a good thing to happen it's going to happen in the nba from time to time but i feel like the lakers have had so many times where they've shown what they're capable of and then never back it up or then go into a bad stretch so you can look at it a million different ways sure and listen all these things are true yes the injuries had hurt them in the beginning of the year and yes it's been tough to find continuity and this and that, but those are all, at the end of the day, just, they are excuses. And it's not that they're not valid, but for fans and for us, like, we are also, you know, we have to call it like it is. And mm -hmm. uh, at the end of the day, they are 24 and 25 for a reason. This is what they are right now. Yeah, I mean, you have to maintain credibility with the readers. When I was at the LA Times, 
and here are the viewers. You know, you can't say how great a team is playing if they lost two games in a row to teams that are below 500 yeah. by an average of uh, – both games were 16-point losses, but it really seemed worse than that, and it was worse than that for a while uh, until maybe late in the fourth quarter. So it's – yeah, I mean it's it's a weird it's a weird line it's it's a weird uh, limbo that that uh, that you know whether you're a journalist or a broadcaster, like you said, Geet, we're not even to February yet. Yeah, there's, there's still remember the Lakers didn't turn it up last year until mid February, and then they went nuts for the last two months and they had another good month. Can't and a half rely on that though, right, Brez? Like That's I think we all are hanging on to that. Yeah, but the, it's a dangerous game to play. The flip the switch mindset, it, you're asking for trouble. You just are. Yeah, and if they were like fifth, fourth, or fifth in the West. Okay, you know they're they're there, they're they're yelling distance. You know, now I mean when you're when you're hanging around a tenth, with teams right below you, Houston and Golden State are now all of a sudden right behind them again. You know, it's it's uh, as Darwin said a week ago, the time for excuses has passed, and we we've got to win, and it just has not been happening. 